Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Grand Mode here today for the British Grand Prix and my home Grand Prix on the Formula 1 calendar and as per the tradition on this channel we do have a special one-off British Grand Prix helmet. We've gone for a white helmet with the red and blue for the colours of the flag but into qualifying now and as you've already seen it is raining it was raining quite hard but by the time we managed to get out onto the track after I'd done the setup the track was basically dry it was still inters but it was pretty much dry we have gone fastest but the track is just evolving at this point in time and you can see by the end of our next lap the track's dry bone dry and you can see we're actually skating about a bit because these inters aren't the tyres anymore but we do go faster again you can see Alonso on the sauce but this is very much a session now to who's last over the line to get the best of the track conditions and it is actually going to be us it's been round Vale and that head up to that final corner of club with five and a half seconds and we've found pole position yes, again at Silverstone for one of the great Formula One races of the entire calendar. With a barely believable capacity crowd creating a phenomenal atmosphere, it is time for a race that puts a smile on your face. It is time for the British Grand Prix. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of Silverstone circuit form the 3.6 mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years with Turn 1, now the fast right-hander of Abbey, but the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position, and it's Fernando Alonso alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Norris, Russell, Verstappen, Ocon, Albon, Fittipaldi, Sonoda, Bottas, Gasly, Sargent, Oscar Piastri, Joe, De Vries, Stroll, Magnussen, Liam Lawson, Perez, Sainz, and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. Now it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen? And we welcome to the commentary box Anthony Davidson. And they've suffered a grid penalty due to taking a new gearbox. It could mean a tough race in store. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. We're here on the grid then in what is a sunny Sunday here at Silverstone we're going to be doing a one stop starting on the soft going to the mediums and hopefully unlike Austria we can actually finish this race because Austria we, we retired after the engine popped just 10 laps into the race so hopefully we can go a bit further I'd do anything to win at home we have the perfect opportunity and it's lights out and away we go we are racing here at Silverstone we get the good launch we needed and Leclerc has jumped from under Alonso from the front row as we head through farm and now down into village we've kept the lead from Leclerc from Fernando Alonso and it's all kicking off behind now as we go out of the loop and into entry and out on to the Wellington straight the crowd is cheering as we are in the lead but Leclerc is trying to ruin that as he goes to the inside but he doesn't know whether to commit or not and he kind of half-heartedly goes for the overtake there we fend him off but now what oh, we've had a big wobble coming out to Luffield as he did try and get us at Cobbs but he was too far back but by the end of the first lap coming out to Chapel down the hangar straight here comes Leclerc He's on our outside, he's trying to go to the outside. We're going to show him the door though. And we stay ahead 
but on to lap two now, same place, copy and paste this time though, he's got it the inside of us and we're going to keep it pinned around the outside and keep the lead. Fernando Alonso all over the back of this battle and the Clare's made a small mistake and Fernando saw a chance to get the lead of the Grand Prix, to get the second place in the Grand Prix, but he had to back out of that one and now Alonso coming into threat from Lando Norris. Lando trying to go the long way round. Fernando Alonso at Luffield. And now look at George Russell, our championship rival. He's got Lando as well, so he tried to gain one, but he's lost when it has Lando. And now heading down the hangar straight, there goes George rocketing past the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso. If you remember back to testing, Alonso said this this car could possibly win races. He's had a good opportunity here so far today. So now down the Hamilton straight and the pit straight, Leclerc pulls out to the inside to try and have a look at Abby. But now as we come out of of cops, we're side by side just behind look at Leclerc and and George Russell side by side through Maggots and Beckett's neither were given up. Leclerc keeps his second place and now Leclerc is wanting our first place as he goes to the outside and try and hold him off. Force him a long way round and very aggressively nearly put him off the track there. But we keep the lead and now George is trying to get round the outside of Leclerc and he may have caught him napping. He's on the mediums is the Mercedes driver so Mercedes trying something different this battle allowed us to break the DRS and get away which was very helpful indeed in fact we could just take a breather as George is finally through on Charles Leclerc and he's up into P2 and now at the end of lap 11 now George continues on on his mediums that we are going to box now along with pretty much everyone behind us to make our one and only stop of the day onto the mediums and we'll see what happens in the cut the overcut between us and George you can see everyone behind me now as we time our pit stop turn into perfection but if we're in the pits then the right rear wheel has struggled to come off we've done a Ferrari pit stop it was stuck on and we have lost a ton of positions then we've lost out to Alonso Leclerc you can see them there and Lando and the most important thing where is George gonna come out now I'm gonna put everything to win this race so we've got to get the hammer down get our head down and get our way through these cars as quickly as possible this is George now into the pits. He's actually gone onto the hard tyres, so God knows what Mercedes strategies are. I'm not sure why he wouldn't just go longer. But Alonso in the lead from Leclerc, from Lando, but we are just, just going to beat out George for P4 in this race. And at first for us though is Lando. Wanna get these of them I want to win this Grand Prix. We're gonna send the later Brooklyn's at the inside of Lando. Now we have to hold it all the way around the outside of Luffield. Lando shuts the door. This is basically part two from last time out in Austria. But now side by side we are going for it. Try and keep it pinned around the outside of cops. We couldn't do it, we go off the track, we're still side by side. But now side Side three maggots, three beckets, and we get past Lando Norris. And we're the overtakes of this season. But Lando's not having that as we come out of chapel down the hanger straight. Lando's having us back here. We're speeding right off the track, but we go wide up our snow. And Lando swaps us the dummy and tries to go back round our outside for the veil chicane. And he has got the job done briefly. But we keep it pinned round the outside of the second part of Vail and Club. And finally, we get the job done 
on on Lando there and the overtake Leclerc as well there before we even get to Brooklyn's to go into the lead of the Grand Prix he also overtook Alonso in the meantime as well as this is George now side by side Alonso and George going side by side through the cops and they're still side by side through Magnus and Beckett and that is a great move by George Alonso's always hard but he's always fair and now here comes Leclerc on our outside it's like it was in the opening laps of the Grand Prix we show Leclerc the door but we've gone wide and Leclerc has done what Lando did to us cuts us back tries to go around the outside at Vale and he's got the job done we try and get the exit to maybe have a look at the inside of the club, clubs, the club. But now, down on the inside, side by side for Abbey at Town 1. And we've got the job done then on Charles Leclerc and retain the lead in the Grand Prix on lap 17. Now though, as we head through Cox, we've run a little bit wide. I didn't think it was that wide, but it's enough for Leclerc to get alongside us and try and go side by side with us through. Magnus and Beckins, he's just got ahead, but we keep our foot in and we hold it but Leclerc is through and he's not doing stuff like that and thinking he's going to get away with it as we swap in the dummy goes sailing round the outside we give him a little nudge through snow telling him do not try that again and we retake the lead of the Grand Prix meanwhile a little further back Fernando Alonso now is he's retiring Fernando Alonso's Mercedes engine has popped here at Silverstone. More reliability issues it seems for Aston Martin. Alonso possibly had a chance at the win this weekend, but it's ended with him on the inside of the track. But now lap 24, Lando overtakes Leclerc, and now going on to the final lap, heading down the hangar straight, Lando tries to go to our outside, who's going to win the British Grand Prix? We fend him off, Lando's going for it again, and fail, but we've done everything we can, the, the game's thrown a bad pissed off at us, but we are going to win the British Grand Prix. Oh, superb driving, that is the race win my friend, well done. Here we are then, a fantastic British Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. Tell me, Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. That's been your British Grand Prix and we win the British Grand Prix. I would substitute all the races we've won so far this season just to win this one and we have done it. The pit stop issue really forced our hand, we had to go for it. We keep the pattern alive of winning every other race this season after the disappointment of Austria. The race before that when we won in Canada. Alonso our only retirement unfortunately for him. The Aston had good qualifying pace but he just didn't have the race pace in the end unfortunately for him. In terms of the drivers championship after taking quite the hit last time out in Austria we closed the gap to two points to George Russell with just two races left before the summer break. This championship battle is heating up 
between us and the Mercedes driver. In terms of the constructors then, we take the lead of the constructors championship for the first time. We're two points off, we're leading the, the drivers and now we're leading the constructors. What a race. I think we can do this this season, but there's still a lot of racing to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's been your British Grand Prix. We go to Hungary next for the very first time in this career mode and hopefully we can build on this win. Goodbye.